Joined by Aldershot Town goalscorer and striker again today, Shamir Fenelon. That's a bit of inspired management, wasn't it? We didn't know you was an out and out centre forward like that, but three games up front and two goals. Yeah, I mean, obviously I can play there. Like yeah. I said, like this when I first joined, I'm comfortable on the right, left, ten line, literally comfortable with um, either. And obviously I moved up front now, and I think the way we play is good for me to be up front. Like obviously I think I'm effective there because it's a lot of possession and things like that. So now I'm, I'm enjoying it, especially up there with Renz as well. Mm -hmm. it's one of the best I've played up there with. Like, just he knows what to do and you know, tells me what to do, and yeah, yeah it's a big help. It's a really, really good, strong, solid yeah. team performance. One to eleven today. Everybody was on it, weren't they? Yeah, yeah I think so. And I think that's what we need. I mean, I think we listened to everything we got told um, yesterday in the meeting. And we set little traps for them. And to be fair to the Gaffer and James, they we knew exactly what they were going to do. And yeah, we stuck to the game plan every every single player. Most notable about your own performance, other than the goal, was just the sheer tenacity you played with. You turned your man. You tried to get in the channels to get away from them, and uh, um, you had a couple of half chances early on. I think one of them, you know, you, you probably met yourself might might have been better falling to Renz. It was a difficult, awkward header to take, but boy, when after a brilliant team move, the ball kind of deflected back into your path. You. Uh, you, you would have you would have enjoyed that finish into the roof of the net at the East Bank end. Yeah, that's what I was, I was saying up to Renz on the pitch. I was saying, oh, these two chances, eh? that's your bread and butter there. And yeah. I was like, it's falling, it's falling for me today. But um, to be fair, it's going to take me next week. We're going to work on a few a few things like my header. I'm mm. not the best in there. My header is not the best, but you know, mm. work on it. And, um, yeah, better. and just uh, another question about yourself individually as well. Um, you. You've admitted that you've not always been able to keep up your level of performance right to the end of the games, and you know it's been several occasions. We've gone a little bit deeper into the game today. Do you feel like you're getting there with that 90-minute match fitness? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think I can play. Mm. See, the first few games back were tough in me fitness-wise. I think now I'm fit enough to play the 90 minutes. But obviously, um, when we're winning and things like that, we've got players that are capable on the bench. So obviously, the gaffers sort of protects my groin because. Um, Sometimes I feel it a little bit, just a little mm. bit tight and things like that. So mm. the gap is more protecting me than, than fitness-wise, yeah. And uh, as far as the, the players around you, I mean, another one's coming to the ranks now, and we saw a little cameo from, from him today. Uh, Johnny Johnny Giles, your, your, your thoughts on Johnny? And also, Kundai Benyu has really had three strong performances in the centre midfield. Yeah, I think he's been, he's been brilliant. I think um, there's one time in the first half today where he's just hit a tackle, and you look at because we know he can play on mm. the ball. He's, Mm. Very, very good on the ball. But I think his energy levels to get forward, to get back, to make tackles, I mean, when a player comes on loan, to get that as well, he's a proper player. And um, yeah, I've seen Johnny in training, and yeah, you're going to see some bits of quality from him. He's got, he's got quality in him that way. Nice one. And uh, the other clubs that you've been at, have you had a sustained run uh, right, sort of right up front off the, off the main striker before? Um, maybe four or five games. I think when I was at Tranmere, mm. I might have played four or five games there. And then they signed a few players, so I got me back to the right. But yeah, that's it. That's the only time I've had a long run up front. As a boy playing football, what was what tended to be your position then? I know often it changes over the years, doesn't mm -hmm. it? But I was up front. Yeah. When I was, when I signed for Brighton, I was yeah, yeah. a striker all the time. And then when I got into the first team, I moved back to more of a winger. Sort of, when I got into the first team, but yeah, in the youth teams coming up, I was always a striker. But yeah, like I've always said, I'm comfortable playing either wherever the team needs me. But I'm enjoying up front. What's been really evident through that really difficult November and parts of December as well, when the results weren't coming, is just how well the side have stuck together, the boys have stuck together, believed in what the management is saying. Do you think that's really starting to pay dividends now as we build another little run, three wins on the truck? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it was a tough run, but the way we was, no one was falling out, no one was arguing, everything was positive. Do you a few players had a goal and they need to have a goal, but everything was in the, the right manner and positive. Yeah. And yeah, you got to respect everyone in the change and respects each other. If someone wants to tell me, have a little go at me, I respect them, so you take it on the chin, it's fine. And um, out of teams I've been at, it's not always been the case. A few people have a goal and they have a little snap back, but here it's um, take it, take it advice from everyone. We're in an unusual position now, no midweek game and indeed no match next weekend. Uh, that doesn't happen too often during the season, does it? Any idea what the plans are man, in terms of the players? Will you get a weekend off? I'm not sure. If we do, then we'll be running a lot before. So <laughs> we'll make up for it with a running before we're doing training. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. And then it'll be the long trip up to Gateshead and uh, 
that's always a tough place to go to and they're in decent form as well they're right behind us in the table they've won again today is that a place that you've uh, played at before no no i've never played there it's one of those athletic stadiums uh, you know where you're quite a long way from the pitch and yeah, the atmosphere I've never, I've, never, no, I've never played on one of those so yeah. well it'll be cold up there so take an extra layer anyway and uh, Hope you and the boys all stay in good shape. Really, really enjoyed the performance along with the rest of the Shots fans here today. And uh, congratulations on your goal and the win. And look after yourself. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Cheers, Shamir.